Black Goose TV family, if y'all already know, Loma versus Luke Campbell is happening this Saturday. I'm very excited for this fight. I'm pretty sure y'all excited for this fight as well. Um, Loma's going to have a big test in Campbell. Not only that, Loma is actually going over to Campbell's home country. It's happening in the UK, so that's a big thing as well for not only for um, both of their teams, uh, which is top rank and uh, match room, to agree to these terms. Really, it's Bob Earl. Like, Bob Earl to be like, okay, bet. I'm going to have Lomachenko go over to the UK, fight Campbell in his hometown. Like, that's, that's crazy they got that deal done. And that also... Um, it gives an interesting perspective on Bob Arum, probably a different perspective where everyone thinks it's always him who makes it hard for certain fights to happen between his uh, top rank and uh, PBC. But if he's willing, Loma is one of, like, Loma's his guy, right? You know what I'm saying? Loma is like Joshua, what well, Anthony Joshua is to Eddie Hearn. So for Bob Arum to be willing to uh, allow Campbell basically to have home field advantage, if that's what you want to call it, um, you know what I'm saying? You, you got to give kudos to Aram for, allow, uh, for, 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 for for making this happen. Obviously, Eddie Hearn had a lot to deal with it, but um, ultimately, Aram had to sign off for it to be happening in the UK. But uh, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is that Orlando Salido, the only person who ever beat Loma, his only loss, uh, it was his first uh, fight as a pro, I believe, uh, Loma lost to uh, Salido. He said the only way to beat him is by body punching, okay? All right, body punches, excuse me. Uh, you want to hit him with pressure, pressure. You got to pressure him, pressure him, pressure him nonstop, even with the angles, even with um, the different movements that uh, uh, Loma does with amazing footwork. If you just keep pressuring him and you make sure your direct target is to the body and not to the head, so basically you want to hide your body shot by going to the head, make him think you're going to the head and hit him with the body. That's what's going to basically slow Loma down. That's what's going to um, 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 basically counter attack the movement angles and footwork that Loma uses. And ultimately that can get you the W. Um, how true that may be, obviously there's some truth to it because that's how Salido beat Loma. But at the same time, like I said before, it was Loma's first pro fight. So there's a learning curve for Loma regardless how extensive and amazing his amateur career was and his Olympic uh, success. Um, you know what I'm saying? Still that first pro fight, so there might be some lumps. Um, and, I, and, and I may be wrong. It may not have been his first pro fight, but it was his first championship fight. But if I can remember correctly, Loma went right into the pros getting a belt, uh, a, title, a title shot. So... Um, what do you guys think about uh, Salido uh, saying that? Uh, do you think he's correct? Or do you think Luke Campbell should actually um, listen to his advice and maybe implement this in his game plan? Or um, do you think uh, in some way he should maybe possibly figure out how to uh, put some body shots in with the pressure? Campbell's not really known for being a pressure fighter, but should he maybe make that adjustment? Or do you think at the end of the day that was a, a one-time thing um, 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 Possibly, I guess you could say lucky, which I don't believe uh, anything happens lucky in boxing. Uh, even if you're talking about a one-hitter quitter, I still don't believe it's lucky. It's all planned out, game plan, training camp, things like that. They expect these type of things to happen. What do y'all think about what Orlando said about Loma? Do you think that's the only strategy to beat Loma? Pressure, body shots, you think Campbell's going to implement this strategy? And if he does, will it be effective? Or is at this point in Loma's career, he's just too good, doesn't matter what you come at him with. He will win regardless. Let me know, Mr. Positivity. As always, stay positive. Y'all stay blessed. Black Goose TV all day, y'all.